Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Hyperlight Drifter. Uh, I have a lot to do. It's been... I'm a little bit late. Unfortunately, this episode is coming out, I think, a day later than usual, simply because I've been... You know, there's going to be a gap in my uploading because of reasons I've been... Life has been giving me a lot of lemons, so to speak. How do I get up there? Life has been giving me a lot of lemons, so to speak, and unfortunately, I haven't been really keeping up. So, the result being, well, I'm late, basically. So, sorry about that. I'm recording. I'm in a bit of a rush. Really, the only thing I need to do is find the last try, uh, blah, 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 the module piece in this area before I can move on. Find the last uh, piece in this area, then I can move on. I'll just jump straight back to the main uh, hub area. I'm not even going to bother with the western region, because you might remember in the western region there was this area that had... Uh, no, this is not the right way. There was an area that had uh, a door that required 12 keys, which unfortunately... Oh, God damn it! Which, you know, I have 12 keys now, but I'm not going to go back to do it because reasons. Again, life has been giving me lots of lemons. It's been giving me lots of trouble. And I just would like to get this game over and done with, which is a sad turn to end it on. Not that it should matter. Now, um, I did very quickly look up online. Now, how do I reach... How do I... Like, there's like the sixth module piece, which is the one I'm looking... Sorry. Which is the one I'm looking for. And the answer was, uh, where can I find this area? It's the answer being, it's the second elevator on the right. But on the right side, but I don't think that's right. Well, this is the right side because there's... Oh, dear. Yeah, see, truth be told, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Was there a way of jumping across here? No. There was that button. Um... Evidently, I might actually have to alt tab. I do not have two monitors, which is interesting. I know... Uh, there's... A, <laughs> when I built my PC, I built them to the specification the specification specifications is that the word it doesn't sound right of assuming that i would not be doing any kind of video production so i or any kind of really difficult uh creation creation stuff which is completely false i built this computer three uh three years ago almost said three hours ago that would be ridiculous where it was built to be a decent gaming rig and that was it have i okay i have been down here quite it's been probably over a week at this point since I last played this game. You know what? What am I doing? I can just... I pressed the wrong button. I was meant to press X then A. Not A then X. So my butt. Ah, poopy. Poopy butts. You know, I don't have to kill these guys. I, I do have to kill these guys. Ooh! And of course, always the awkward silence as I concentrate and try and determine how to do this next region. Is this the area that had army? I've been there. Yeah, it was the double-sided region. I, I hope I'm going the right way. I, I, I'm i praying I'm going the right way because I, I don't... <laughs> I kind of <laughs> don't want to be recording right now because it's so damn hot in this room. I should have... Mm, no, don't, don't worry about it. You know what? This kind of looks like it might be the right way. Or probably... N we'll see in just a moment. Yeah, it's the right way. Here. It's right here. Did I get this? No, I did not. Wow. Wow, I got very lucky. That finishes this region here. Now I feel like a bit of a cop-out because I was thinking, you know, to pad out the episode length enough, I, I could then head off to the... Wait, wrong button. Triggers, yeah. I could then head off to the western region and find the final key, key door, which was somewhere, I think, like down here. Yeah, it looks like it was down here. Well, you know what, let's do that, because that only took four minutes of my time, a little less. So, <laughs> well then, isn't that fantastic? Glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back, kind of, not really. Unfortunately, I do want to speak about... I realize talking meta, breaking the fourth wall, isn't often all that engaging. I'm sorry, but I think, you know, people... Wait, what's going on? Since this is sort of like my mainline series, I am going to share this here first before I create uh, its own video on the topic entirely. I just wanted to... S oh, I did not do that right. I just wanted to say... Uh, I'll be going overseas for a number of weeks. Uh, I think... Yeah, it, it, December 8th I'll be leaving, which is... And I'll be leaving for five weeks. I think I talked about this in my rain world. You know what? I realize I should be concentrating a lot better, a lot harder during this. Oh! I thought I healed. I'm mistaken. 
So I talked about this in my Rain World episode. I'll be gone for five weeks. That's 35 episodes. I'm not going to make it. I think I even talked about it in this episode. So unfortunately, I want to finish this Let's Play as soon as possible, within the week. As well as... Um, not not just this episode. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be finishing off Pyre in any timely fashion. But um, but luckily for me, I didn't mean to heal. Luckily for me, there's a nice sort of exit point for the game that I'm approaching very close to, which I hope to use. Uh, and to add to that, I also hope to. There's a nice exit point likewise for Rainworld that I'm approaching. So unfortunately, those two let's plays are going to be left in hiatus. But, you know, that's how the cookies crumble. No, not, things could be worse, and thankfully it gives me a chance to really think things through. I am looking at getting a better new mic, so that's a start. I'll probably end up coming back. So, uh, Pyre and Hyperlight, I mean, Pyre and Rainworld are probably going to be on hiatus for something like six weeks. Which is, you know, a good way to kill the channel, I know. Sorry. Unfortunately, that's life, because I'm not going necessarily just for a holiday. I could have sworn it was the doors over to the left. Have I gone to the wrong place? I don't want to have to Google this. I really, really don't want to have to Google this. You know, since I have... I didn't mean to throw that. If I hit back... Since I have that nice... Oh, that, that's the gun. I already have it equipped. This one with the laser pointer. I can really easily work out where I'm supposed to aim. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? Maybe if I stand here, that'll be better, yeah. But now I can hardly see this. Not quite. Not quite. Maybe if I stand further down and we'll try again. This is very difficult. I'm pretty sure this isn't the way I'm meant to do this, by the way. Oh, come on, look. I'm out of bullets. No, that's not, not a huge deal because I have this... Uh, I can destroy these things to get bullets. You can destroy the surrounding environment and get bullets off that, which is, thank God. Uh, which I, I'm doing just that right now, just making sure I have enough bullets. Uh, and we're going to try, try again, because you, you have no idea how lucky I was the first time I did that, that I got it my first... Oh, you know what? I'm full on bullets. Let's move on. Uh, you have no idea how lucky I was getting it the first time. Oh, look, game. Stop being such a tease. There you have it. Wonderfully done. And see, that time I needed the help of a laser guided... Not laser guided, but a, like a laser turret. Let me switch. How do I switch my gun again? It's B... Awesome. Because <laughs> I, I have, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Dodge. I missed. But it's okay. You can just shoot things and shoot things dead. Uh, shoot things dead. I had. Shoot things dead. Wow. This is quality commentary. This here. This is how you let's play. In case you people at home were wondering how to do it, you do it like this. Not really. I'm pretty sure this is the wrong way, by the way. Come on, set off this trap. Awesome. Grab the med kit and move on. I, I didn't. Why didn't I just dive in right away? I was worried that if I did that, I would end up. Uh, I would end up accidentally. Oops. I would end up accidentally bumping against the wall, and then as I'd bump against it, I'd then end up rolling backwards, uh, thereby killing myself. This looks like the right way, doesn't it? It does. Wow, my memory is surprisingly not that bad. <laughs> no, the thing about my memory, I've noticed, is that it's. Not necessarily great. Sorry if I, if I sound a little duller than usual. I knew it was going to be this useless piece of shit. Wow, I'm mad. <laughs> Thank you for the costume game. How gracious of you. I'm going to teleport right back. I'm not even going to bother. Let's teleport back to the central area. Sorry if I sound a little more muted than usual. The reason being, it must be something. This is late afternoon. I'm recording this, so it is easily... Uh, probably 28 degrees Celsius in this room, being about, I think, something like... Somewhere, I think, between 70 and 80 Celsius Fahrenheit. Which is, you know, not comfortable. I am seriously considering getting naked. Which is a, a frequent topic of discussion on this channel. Oh my god, I'm going down? Hold up, this is news to me. I, I was expecting some kind of gigantic fanfare, but no, um, we're getting this. This might be the final episode. Whoa. My god. This reminds me of Rain World right now. Spoilers? Not really. It's just got this similar tone to it. You will absolutely know what I'm talking about when I say... When you see it in Rain World, though. What, I'm, what I mean. I like the fact that that's a unique animation. Okay, you know, let's... Uh, a moment of attention. 
just to explore. Oh no, no, don't, don't die on me. Not here. You've made it so far. You probably try to heal yourself. That's what that diamond you've been reaching out for might be about. Well, I'm saying you, but I mean you in the plural, and I specifically mean you as in Bean Bean here. What is his name? What is Hyperlight Drifter's name? I'm calling him Bean Bean again, because I just I think he looks he looks blue like a jelly bean. Dabba dee dabba die, dabba dee dabba die. The the, <laughs> the lyrics to that song are not I'm blue. If I were green, I would die. That's that's a fallacy. That's wrong. It's I'm blue. <gasps> a boss battle. I, dabba dee dabba die. You know. <laughs> I am tempted to end the episode here, but that would be wrong of me because we've only just started. Please come with me. Don't take that out of context. As we go... Fight this. I hope it's not a final boss. I hope it's like it's going to subvert my expectations and it's going to be like nothing at all. It's okay, dude. Dude, dude, don't cough on me. Keep walking. Oh, oh, no, this isn't going to be a boss fight at all. <laughs> Do I have the right gun available? What is this thing? This, okay, look. Yep, correct gun. I do have food right in front of Oh, hey, look at that. This is the image, not the image, but this is the thing I use for my thumbnails for Hyperlight Drifter. I might need to stay quiet for this. Oh my God, is this the thing that's been taunting me? My, no, can't, could you hear the coughing at the bottom? Look, please, 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 shoot, shoot, no, 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 oh, go, go, you have an awful lot of health, uh, look, how many times are you going to attack, can I, what, no, 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 uh -huh. okay, we're going to concentrate on this, and we're going to defeat him, fair and square, Ow, ow, ow. Oh, wow, he did two points of damage there. I wasn't even able to see myself through the beam, through that tractor beam, because it was so thick and juicy. That's what she said. Let's do that again, but this time I'm ready. You know, I felt kind of okay surviving that originally. He didn't hit me very well that time. Oh, oh, oh. What are you going to do? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. It's okay, you can't hurt. I'm gonna heal up because I'm gonna heal up and stay above two health, I think, which is wise, given how much I suspect. Did I, every time I hit him, his like thing paused? Nope. <laughs> yeah, every time. I, um. But this is not good. Dodge. This is not good. Uh oh. Oh, wow, that was a big, big bomb. That's what those were. I should have just been shooting them, honestly. I tried to dodge. What was that? Ah, 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 I, I tried to dodge. What was up with that? Ah, da, da. You can. I, I feel like you can bait him into certain attack patterns. And now it's going to aim down. No, it was going to aim up. Uh, what happened there? Not that it matters. We'll do it one more time. Is this my third go or my fourth go? One last time. I wonder what I'm going to name this episode. <laughs> Again, the meta stuff isn't all that engaging, and let's keep talking about it. You know why? Because it, it's easy. Wait, I should be attacking him. I should be focusing less on the conversation, more on the, ah, mommy, mommy, please. A bad man is hurting me. I'm going to heal up. Ooh, shoot. Oh, okay, good. I shot him, so that means one, wait, one. I'm out of bullets. Oh, good. Well, well played. Well played on my part. Good, good job. Good job. You deserve a pat on the back. No, no. What is he doing? No, no, no. I remember you, jerk. Uh oh. What's he doing? Okay. Bait him to the top attack, and then attack him from the bottom. Make him wish he were never born. Oh, I should be healed. No, oh, my God. That was embarrassing. I just then noticed how low in health I was. How long was I on one? How long was I on one health for? I should slur my words less frequently. This is the last time. I bet you I would have done this one go if I wasn't talking to anyone. <laughs> Wait, I should be attacking. What am I doing, dude? You suck. My grandma plays better than you. What? How much? Wow, that was very close. I'm gonna, you know, I have ample. I have ample um med kits, so I will abuse them. Oh, where are you? One, two, three, two, three. No, 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 no. Thank God. Whoa, whoa. 
I should maybe heal up again because I feel worried. Okay, it's gonna do the double dash. Mario Kart double dash! <laughs> okay, hit them all back at you and then dodge and then... Why do you do so much damage? Stop! What knocked me down? This is gonna be a ranting episode, isn't it? <sighs> One last time. This isn't as bad as I think, you know, I think episode six it was where I was stuck in a certain area and I was, I was starving. I wasn't playing very well. Miss as per usual, because I'm useless. Oh good, you still do damage. Oh, that's what hit me. How much, how much, how many points of damage do those bullets do? Heal up. We'll do that again. Ah, see, that was quick. One, two, miss, hit, done, hit. No, no, no. Oh, he did he do two points of damage when he spawned? How did I miss? Okay, he's gonna double dash. He tracked me. He tracked me. Heal up. Heal up, heal up. Well played. Ooh, buddy, buddy, buddy. No, no, no. Ba na 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 na. Okay, again, let's do this. How many more are you gonna bring in? Just four? Just four? That's all? Weak boy. You weak boy. Wait, what's up? Too bad. You're not good enough. He's gonna do a triple dash this time, I bet. Unless I stay close to him, which guys, he probably won't! <laughs> I, I did something very good there. Dad! Ooh. I will end you here. End. And we're done. So that's the thing that's been tormenting me. This... Oh. So I was fighting the crystal that whole time. And it was defending itself. Of course I'm gonna die. I just knew it. Da look. Dash, dash, dash. I'm actually... Heal, heal. Heal up. Heal up. Oh god, please. If I, if I can die from the falling debris, that would be... No, please! Every time I hit A, am I, am I coughing every time I hit A, or am I just... Oh, the doggy! Come here! Good, good boy. You're the goodest of boys. Or are you like the Grim Reaper? For some reason, it's now started... I start feeling like this guy's the harbinger of death. Harbinger? Harbinger of death. Which has got me thinking. You know, there is lore to this game, and I'm getting uh, recommended these, you know, lore analyses of Hyperlight Drifter in my YouTube feed. So I imagine there's got to be some good lore. And I mean, Super Bunny Hop has done a video on the lore of uh, Hyperlight Drifter. So I trust there is some. Oh, wow, I recognize this. Is this where I started? Go and sit down. I feel like this is the place where I started. Let's enjoy this, you know, piano music. This is un. Uh, natural for the game. And everything crumbles around me. Right. Was it the tower that I descended down and... Did I set the jackal free? The four totems. Oh. You know, I like this. You know why I like this? Because throughout most of the game, it's been gritty, dark, and just gruesome and uncomfortable and scary. And this is just calm, serene, beautiful. Look, the book ended. We're standing in that same ocean by the looks of it, but instead of blood water, it's, it's blue. It's kind of beautiful, no? Yes, the world's still in ruins, but at least the sky is blue. The sky is blue because we choose it to. I need to play Transistor with you guys. You know, that brings this game to a close, I guess. I might actually end up playing it again in future, not on this channel, maybe in my own time, if I have the time, to be honest. I enjoy looking at, I enjoy looking at credits because they, uh, it's, you know, well, I, I'm a bit of a gaming connoisseur <laughs> to be extra pretentious about it because I am quite a pretentious person when it comes to video games. But I do think, since this is a game made in, uh, what was it called, Game Maker Studio? I think this is interesting. Like, look how short that credit scene is. Baths? Kickstarter? Oh, was this a Kickstarter game, was it? Is that why it was so popular? 
because something I've found or noticed about certain games that are really indie games that are popular, they typically tend to be Kickstarter games. I think that's where that's where they get their initial popularity boost from, from being a Kickstarter game. Additional art assets. This is interesting. So one of these people that I'm reading gave a GDC talk, a game design, a level designer, Juju Adams, a 60 F FPS conversion. I mean, did you know that was such a thing? Apparently the game was 30 FPS and it Isn't it just simple interpol- Oh no, you couldn't do just simple interpolation. Interpolation works really well for videos, but games are interactive, so you can't exactly interpolate it, especially if 60 frames per second also means 60 inputs per second. I won't get too much into the details of it, but I, the original game maker by Mark Overmars, they would only be putting special support from you again. They'd only be giving that special support to Game Maker if it was made in Game Maker. I'm trusting. Alexander Bruce? What the hell? He's in everyone, every single indie game. Uh, Alexander Bruce is the developer of, um, what was that? Antichamber. It's a kind of like, I hate comparing any puzzle game to Portal, but it is kind of like Portal, except with a more psychological twist to it. Man, Alexander, he's an Australian, so Australians represent. He is, I've seen him in so many indie game credits. Ben Bo oh, I thought I saw Ben Pronti, my bad. I got a little excited there. So you see, I take genuine interest in these... Um, in these credit scenes because it teaches me a lot of... Greg Kasavin? Greg Kasavin, the writer of Bastion and Pyre and Supergiant? I mean, Supergiant's writer? So the guy who wrote Pyre, the game I'm playing currently. Greg Kasavin, his... Do I have my mouse? No, I don't. He's approaching the top now. There's Greg, Greg Bastion and then Greg, Greg Kasavin. He's, he's um, a Moscow-born American writer. He used to work at GameSpot. You see, look, I told you I'm a gamer's nerd in a more um, in a more nerdy way. Greg Kasavin, why is he getting special thanks? Maybe, I guess, I, I don't know, it might have been... Well, I mean, it would be nice. I, I, imagine getting credited as special thanks at the end of a game. I'd be very happy with that. I used to want to become a game developer, but, you know... Imagine telling my <laughs> my Russian mother that I <laughs> that I would want to go begin developing games with Nick Wozniak. That's like I thought Steve Wozniak for a second, but no, Nick Wozniak. Um, that I would want to be developing games for the rest of my life. Instead, you know, I settled on <laughs> actuarial. <laughs> wow, I know what a what a difference in in um, I forget the word. Let's leave it there. Shengan Gua. No, the music is also quite beautiful, and I get to talk to you for a little bit and just relax. I remember the last point I was talking about before I got distracted by the new area was, you know, my memory. My memory is not that bad, actually. It's, it's okay. My memory sucks, except for very select periods of time. Those select periods of time being when I'm invested in a video game. <laughs> admittedly, you should have seen me playing what you call it. Ah. Uh, Ether One, a puzzle game, kind of like, um, sorry, I'm umming a lot. Uh, it's a lot like a real-time mist, uh, rather, it's, instead of, you know, mist where it's screen-based, it's more 3D, you're allowed to move around a lot. And, um, I, I was remembering six-digit codes, uh, for days of playtime. It was amazing. Now, this is, uh, interesting, uh, interesting credits. Oh, you know what? Look at this. I have the ability, I just noticed in the bottom right corner. Whoa, whoa, no, slow down. Oh, you know what? I could have been checking out these names really quickly. Are these the names of songs? I think these are the names of songs. I hope they're just the name of songs, because if they're not the name of songs, I'm sticking, I'm rushing past. Oh, you know what? These are probably the Kickstarter fellows. Wow, look how many Kickstarter fellows they are. Lots of A's. We're going to skip past all of this, I'm, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. If your name is here... I'm sorry, I, I do have things I need to do today, and this episode's gone long enough. Uh, it's a final f farewell, and this is a fitting way to take th to, to end things off, you know, by skipping past all the valuable co contributors to this game. Jesus fucking Christ, how many people gave money to this game? Wow, this was popular. See, I, I tend to stay away from Kickstarter, not through that, no, not, it sounds negative, but it's because I just... I don't know, I haven't really been active on the indie gaming scene for a number of years. And even then, I really only follow indie games through YouTubers, such as, for example, Northern Line, who, four years ago, he had really good indie game coverage. He was kind of like a filter, in my opinion, where I... I 
Okay, <laughs> to be honest, there are there are a shit ton of indie games that come out on a day to day basis. A lot of them really suck. A lot of them are not even worth touching with a 10 foot pole. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so I'm not indie indie, so I'm not playing the really, really kind of esoteric, far gone, hard to understand, hard to play indie games. I'm also playing the more popular indie games. So. So while I am an indie gamer, I'm sort of the mainstream indie gamer, if you could say that. If you could even further cut up the uh, partition, the indie gaming scene even further, I would be part of that mainstream indie gaming scene. So I, uh, Kickstarter to me seems like more on the indie indie side. The only Kickstarter project I ever backed was Ukulele, and that one I'm happy with. I realized the game wasn't necessarily the most, uh, the most popular, or rather not the best game, not the not the greatest thing of all time, which is unfortunate that that's how th things happen. I approach Kickstarter as I would buying a share. And this is again my commerce background showing. You know, when you purchase a share to a company, you're not, it's not like you're purchasing, or <laughs> it's not like the company is necessarily promising you good performance. You're purchasing the share because you're expecting good performance out of the company. That's how I approach um, Kickstarter. I'm purchasing, a, I'm funding the Kickstarter because I'm expecting or hoping for a good game. Not that they owe me a good game. If it doesn't work out, oh well. That, that's the risk I take. And not just that, it's also, I, I understand that I'm not doing it because I want the game. It's, I'm not, I don't look at Kickstarter because I want to get the game early and sort of like a pre-order. No, no. I actually want to be part of the game making process. That's me. And unfortunately, I'm not in a position to be developing. I wish I could, but unfortunately that isn't the case. I've been, I've self-taught myself C++, but I mean, before that I did learn at university a Python, so, well, yeah, that. So, I, I'm, you can oftentimes hear me talking about, do I talk much about it in this game? I don't think I did, but I know an awful lot about, I watch so much GDC and I talk so much about games, and I do want to get, be involved part of the game making process. Unfortunately, I'm not, I'm in no position to be hands on about it. So instead, I act as an investor, so to speak, investing in the game. And not just that, investing without any return, which is scary. I'm not going to get anything back for it except knowing that. Uh, hopefully a good game is coming out of it. You know, I'm sweating so much that some of it just got in my eyes and I'm crying a little bit. 5 31st 2017. That must be like the last patch. So this is there's this now blue light. So I guess indicating completion. Let me hit continue game. This is just a habit which is good to get into. After you finish a game, always hit continue because there might be a secret. No, nothing here. Nothing here. That's fine. Let me quit the title. That's a shame. Normally you're meant to like spawn you back at the main entrance and just let it know that. Boss rush. Oh hey. Uh let's I believe there should be a new a yeah, new game plus. New game alt. Play with a new character. I wow, played this game for seven hours. Revoker. YT for YouTube and then Bean Bean. Hmm. Uh Ooh. Replace the save. No, okay, no, just making sure I know exactly what's going on. On that note, with almost a half hour episode, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate your viewership. Stay tuned. There is not going to be any more Hyper Light Drifter coming in future. In fact, there might not be very many episodes coming in future at all for one and a half months. So don't forget about me. Eventually, I will come back and in full force. In, I'll, I'll come back. If you strike me down, I'll come back stronger than you can ever imagine. No, that is definitely the case because I might be investing in a new computer, better suited to making videos as well as that's a phone call. I'm going to mute that very quickly as well as um, a new microphone. But until then, have a nice day.